Hello guys and welcome back to uh, our uh, Unity shader uh, graph tutorial. Um, in this part we are going to uh, begin with the uh, second layer which is the light flickering over this um, part. Okay, let's start. So, to start with that, first of all we are uh, going to continue from where we uh, stopped last time. We uh, don't need this uh, review anymore. So, okay. Okay. As I said, we are going to add the light over here, so it is like a new layer. And to do that, we have to go and bring this texture, which is uh, will represent our. Um, uh, let's say the uh, the light uh, intensity by uh, this uh, uh, linear uh, color, which is will uh, need to uh, turn the, uh, the texture uh, and then will make it moving to the up, so it will give that that flickering effect when uh, this is going on. Okay, let's start. Uh, to make this moving, we will use uh, the same uh, technique that we did for the uh, other layer. So, uh, first of all, we we'll need to create a node, a time node. Then we we'll need to create a tiling for the texture. And we'll have to provide a vector field. We'll need to put this to link this to the, to the Y and this to the offset. Okay, it's done on the for sure it's for the wrong uh, direction, but we need to turn this. So we have the rotate node. Yeah. We'll link this to the UV. And then we'll give 90 degrees over here. Um, make sure it is in degree here. Not right here. Okay. Um, Okay, if, when we turn this, it will be like um, turning also for the uh, movement axis. So we'll have to change that. We'll have to put it over here. And we'll have to delete this link. So it will be like going for the correct direction. And as well, we need the speed, which is we will multiply the time by the speed, then we give it to the vector. Now this is the cloud. Multiply the time by the speed. This is really our speed, so we'll add property here. We call it layer two speed as a vector one. As a property, okay. Now we have the speed control and we need it like minus one for the first direction of the movement, okay. Next, we will. Actually, we need to expose those uh, parameters so we can also uh, modify the tiling for uh, and offset for this uh, texture. So to do so, we we'll create new vector four. So we'll call it 
player Move it top, and then we'll connect this to the tiling. These to the offset. Okay, let's see with those. Now it's down. Let's give the default values over here. And then we need to connect this to the X of the offset. And this one we'll talk about it later. We need to connect the R factor to Y. So it will be so this uh, W will work because from this vector 4, every uh, parameter will go to each um, uh, channel here uh, in, in the order. Which is X will go to the R, Y will go to the G, and so on. So A will be the W. And we'll find out that we uh, this Z is not working because we are not connecting this uh, B. So what we are going to do, we are going to make it working by adding new node, which is an add node, and we'll add this B to the output of the movement uh, setup over here. Okay. Then we're going to link this to the X. This one will not will not need this anymore. Probably directly. And we have the uh, the, the, the Z now it's working. We'll try it later on. Okay. So we need to see um let's turn this to quad so we can see our uh, image. And we need to see this on top of the uh, main uh, layers so we can see where we stand with the uh, effect over here. So I mean, it will be for the moment going from uh, this right part of the uh, image, but we want it over here on. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, this one. We'll create a new node. This an add node. And we'll add these layers to this one. Okay. And we don't to show the Okay. As we see here, as I told you. Um, it is on the right side. I mean, it's on the right. Uh, on the right, and now we have to move it to the left, so it will uh, affect the zone that we want. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna use those uh, parameters which is we expose it to the material. Okay. So let's select the material. Um, let's save it first. So, okay, here we have a Okay, so 
So uh, this is the timing. This is the offset. So we need to play a little bit with the offset. This is the Y offset. And this is the X offset because where we uh, rotate the image. Okay. So we need to play a little bit with the timing as well. We make it like smaller. Now I think we are good. So um, let's go with the values over here so we see the same thing over here. The shade of graph uh, view. So this is one. This is uh, 0 0.16. And here it's 0. And here it's 0 0.86. Okay. Now, as you see, we are have the uh, multiplied the um, uh, we added actually the uh, this effect to on the top of the uh, other layers we need to mask it right now we need to mask it with the uh, with the corresponding mask for the uh, for this layer which is we'll bring it from here and to know which uh, channel we have to use for the mask Mm, uh, same thing we we can like do a uh, create a preview node okay and uh, if we connect the red uh, it's sure it's not this one because we will need only the this part so let's see the green okay this is the game this is um, actually a, a light map and uh, this is the zone that we need to um, affect with the light so we'll use the green for the mask and to do that we have a multiply node we bring the green and we multiply it by this and then we add it to the other layers okay so let's save it now we added the effect but still here if you um can see the um, uh, the image is uh, visible over here. The flickering is not going uh, naturally. I mean, and you can see uh, the difference here, and it, it shows that it is moving from down to up. So to remove that uh, effect, we need also to change some values over the tiling. We need to put this at zero and see what will happen. See here? Okay, let's save it. Okay, we need to change the same value over the other. And now you can see the Clicking over here and also over here, but we don't want it to, to do so. To, I mean, to flicker over here and to show the um, the light flicking over here. Well, only on this part, mm, so we need to uh, change a little bit of uh, the tiling over here. So we need to decrease.
Okay. So it is now affecting only this one. Yeah. For sure, you can play with the speed and uh, to change the frequency, and you can play with the figures later on to to, to prove the the the, the, the Okay, so um, as well, um, let's increase a little bit the uh, dialing over here. This one, how will that go? So, this, that, this. So, we want to remove also this uh, light in the middle. Mm. To fix it in the correct way, let's Remove this directly. Oh, uh, let's remove the mask first and use the C. Let's put it directly over here. Okay. And now, let's see it. Okay, now we can play with the figures over here and uh, check. Smaller. Okay. Let's put the same values over here. Let's put back the um, the mask. Yeah, it looks better now. Let's see it on the video. Yeah. As I said, you can just play with the figures and see the effect. You can change it. Okay, so um, we are done uh, with this part. Uh, in the next part, we are going to add the uh, next layers, which is uh, the um, flow map um, here, we'll, uh, and will be the, the, the uh, cloud uh, layer, which is uh, will be in this section. Thank you, guys, and uh, see you on the next part.